really high ball in by ooh that's a corner Eric Yarrow with the header there but it does creep out for a corner to long for town just regather my breath and then we'll get going <laughs> <laughs> a lot of sprinting from the car park good to see a good healthy crowd here this evening I was surprised when I pulled up outside so many cars out to get parking out there so that's the first positive of the evening good crowd here tonight Alone on the attack now and the shot on goal just flashes wide that was Kyle Robinson the former draw of the man taking on the effort there yeah, Tete winning the throw in there for Atlone. Of course, he scored against Longford here earlier on in the season. Tete on loan from Shamrock Rovers and looks a lively little player, it has to be said. And here he is now, opportunity to show what he can do. And he skipped by Dino Shea. It's a really good ball as well. And it looks like Halwax gave the call there because we could see Eric Yarrow just stuck down out. Ball down the line to Elworthy. Elworthy's going to have a run at his man. He stands the ball into the penalty area towards the back post for Jordan Adeyemo. Both players are pulling and dragging out of one another. And it was probably the easy thing for the referee to do there just to clear that out. Oh, and that's a nasty collision with the perimeter wall here for the Athlone Town player, Oshin Duffy. I didn't actually see how he ended up. What? He launched himself over the wall. Long ball forward, it caught the breeze and it's carried into the long for town penalty area and the shot on goal flashes wide from Dean Ebbe. Yeah, that's a huge opportunity there. Kyle O'Connor tries just gets his head on this. Yeah, from the referee just asking Athlone to move the game along here. It's had a decent flow to it so far, so let's keep it moving. This ball comes out to Duffy back on the field of play after his little spill. Ball inside and I'm not sure if Dean Ebbe knew a huge pile about the finish. But that's what he's been doing all season. He has been lethal in front of goals. And Dean Ebbe gives Athlone the lead in for town just inside the Athlone town half. Daniel Norris has been working his magic from free kicks for Longford. Since he's arrived at the club, he's probably not going to be scoring from here though. But he tries to fizz one into the penalty area. Adiemo got a touch. It's going to run through. It's a big save. O'Shea keeps it in play. And it's only going to be a oh, corner for Longford corner. town. And the what? linesman's changed his decision. He's given a goal kick. And I think... But the had that aim well marshalled there Bashing Heary trying to open up the pitch now and that is a phenomenal pass from Heary out towards Dean O'Shea he's got three goals this season for Longford Town and O'Shea driving forward and there's a shot and it's Ooh. almost number four for O'Shea that was really good stuff there what a pass by Bashing Heary to set it away gets above Robinson Ross Fay difficult one to take oh, down did the first part well second part not so good Noah Van Geenen. Cleared away by Oshin Hand and Adi Amo's in behind here and the arm goes up for offside and that was extremely tight. Adi Amo does not think that he veered offside. We might get a look. Try to spur their team into a comeback here. Here he asks Adi Amo to give chase to this. Rodriguez, he's made a hash of it. Adi Amo, oh did he use his hands there Manog? No, he got it on the chest and he's... He's done really well, the goalkeeper. And that, that throw in from Dino Shea, quickly distributed by the Athlone Town goalkeeper. And all of a sudden, they're on the move here with Gaxa. Gaxa down the line to Tete. Tete going to have a run at Ross Fay. Tete continues his run inside. And it's a great save from Halwicks. Where's the rebound going to go? It's going to go over the bar from Kyle Robinson. Just can't seem to get a flow in this second half, yeah. the home side. Great touch from O'Connor. Here's Topku again. Bash and Heary. To Norris. He's got the support here of Topku. Topku to Adiemo. He's offside. The flag is up. Composed yeah. finish. It was a good passage of play from Longford, but Adiemo definitely straight into it. Hoping to kill this game off as a contest with the second goal now inside the last 10 or 15 minutes. They won't do a passing like that. Oh, God. It's very careless from Longford Town not a lot of the evening. Oh, and a slip at the back might present a chance for Daniel Norris. He's got Adi Amo inside. He takes the shot on himself, and that was the wrong option. Referee to, for Athlone to do whatever they want. Torre and Gax is standing over this one for Athlone Town. Looks like it will be Torre, though. Everyone inside. Every Longford player inside their own penalty area here as Torre whips the ball in towards the front post, and Halwix, he wasn't overly convincing there and that's a huge let off for the town goalkeeper 
You know what's coming next. Dino Shea, long throw in. Strides forward, throws it into the area. And it's in at yes. the back post. It's a goal for Longford Town. And Adam talk about a super sub. What an introduction to the game. Adam Wickstead equalises in the Midlands Derby. Anyway, we'll focus on the important people here, the players on the pitch. Might be a couple of minutes added on at the end of that. After all of that. Kyle O'Connor, no oh. nonsense clearance, could turn into a good pass here for Daniel Norris. How is his first touch? It's a little bit heavy. What a tackle that is from Noah Van Geenen. Goes out for a throw in. That was absolutely fantastic oh, at the back beautiful. tonight. Bastian Heary. Top coup. Back to Heary, but Heary was double marked, but the ball breaks the way of Wickstead. Longford's tails are up here. Good ball inside to Jordan. Adeyemo, what a save from Enda Minogue. Genie Mac, what, what a save. 